Hey guys, it's Toxic here, and today I just wanted to rant about something. Uh, I'm sorry about my voice, I've been kind of sick for the past week. Today I just wanted to talk about why I prefer the Xbox RNG community over the PlayStation RNG community. As you guys know, I went to PlayStation a few months back, I'd say about two months ago, only for a couple weeks. Um, I kind of got it just so I can play with other people, you know, like Stepful, Fan Shui and whatnot and record some content over there. As soon as I went over there, the toxicity was crazy. Um, I usually don't care about people shit talking. It is different over there. I don't know what it is in the air. I don't know what PlayStation players are eating in the morning. Some nuts and bolts, but you guys are vicious, man. Like, it's crazy. And also, the main character syndrome that PlayStation has is off the charts. Every single person over there believes like in their soul that they are the only best player in the world. I don't know what it is, but when someone starts saying that to me, I'm just like, all right, bro, you got it. You're the best. It's just wild. I know I'm talking pretty slow. Uh, it's like six in the morning right now. I'm just sitting here trying to push something out for you guys. And I just thought, why not just get on the mic and just start talking about how I feel about each community because I know that there's a, a divide between Xbox and PlayStation so I just wanted to put my two cents in um, I mean it'll be interesting to hear what other people think I mean maybe in the comments you guys can just put what you guys think about Xbox and vice versa what we think about PlayStation I mean and I know it's not just PlayStation there's a few Xbox people that are kind of the same way but it's not as big relatively to PlayStation. Then again, the PlayStation community is bigger, which is understandable. But there's going to be a select few in the crowd. And there's a lot of good people on PlayStation too. You know, PlayStation showed me a lot of support uh, over here on Xbox, which I really do appreciate, you know. But I kind of got this video idea from Dark Fears where he was just talking on the video, just ranting or just saying how he feels. Um, for example, you know, his top five worst players, which was a good video, is a good idea, but it was kind of crazy how he put PP30 on there, I'm not going to lie. Even if he was going against randoms or not, like, we all thought that he was Superman at one point when we were younger. At least I, I thought, I'm not going to lie. But, like, sitting back and reflecting about, like, that main character syndrome stuff and the toxicity, I kind of understand. You know, I've been in the community uh, of Xbox running gun since, you know, I was... A little wee boy, you know, I was like 11, 12, you know, back in 2013, 14. Been here for a while, so I've had the experience to understand how the game works and how people are on the game, you know, so I kind of give more respect to people that's that deserve it you know i understand and then there's other people that just hop on you know started playing 2020 which you know no hate to you i understand there's a lot of people that's played in 2020 or started in 2020 that are much more respectful i notice a lot of the people are like people that claim to be like oh i'm a 2015 2016 rng player but i didn't get into the community until like 2022 so i'm just like all right bro just because you were doing the fleek of heist in 2017 does not mean that you were running run and gun you know what i mean like you're not that guy you know but I understand, I guess. If it makes them sleep better at night, uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm cool with it. It doesn't affect me, but I just thought I'd talk about the main character syndrome that plagues the GTA community. It's, it's kind of rough. I, I think the only way that this could be fixed is if GTA 6 is so large that there's an actual esports community that is live streamed to thousands of people where it is possible for weirdos like that to get canceled out if that makes sense like i don't support you know cancellations and whatnot but if there's someone that's like doxing your address and x lagging and booting you offline you know that kind of calls for you know in my opinion it just kind of calls for you know get his ass out the community but that's just me you know what i mean you don't have to agree everybody's entitled to their own opinion it is what it is now for the future plans of my channel of course i'm going to continue the top 10 clips of the month i really do enjoy that series it 
I feel like it's bringing the community together a bit or whatever's left of it, you know? As long as I receive clips, I will continue to make those videos. And I also wanted to start going back to my roots where I upload MVP highlights like I normally do. But instead of having music in the background, I just wanted to speak on it. Like kind of how I'm doing now on certain subjects or opinions I have on certain matters. And for the interviews, I kind of had a, a few interviews lined up to follow up the King Vitsy interview, but it's very difficult to get the people online the same time as me. On another matter, I have a full interview that I recorded with Fon Shui, and it's probably like an hour long, but he recorded the audio and I'm waiting for him to send it and we're having issues with that and it's to the point where he's not even answering me. So I really do apologize for that, guys. I wish I could have dropped that. Hopefully this weekend, it would have been amazing. Obstacles are always in your way. You know, hiccups are always a thing. You live and you learn. Now I know never to let them record. I will always be the one that records the audio, but it is what it is. I have a few other people that I've been wanting to do, you know, Dark Lord, Stepful. I would like to get, you know, Vice City Secrets, you know, that'd be pretty cool. I don't personally know him that much or I've never talked to him and I don't really know his backstory much. So I think that would be a good one to sit down and talk to and just get to, you know, learn more about him. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys, I guess, and give you guys my opinions and of Xbox versus PlayStation why people are the way they are but yeah if you guys enjoy just like subscribe comment i reply to all comments i try to i mean not try to i definitely do i never let a comment go unseen so just type what you want down there i appreciate all the support and i love you guys and until next time thank you guys bye